Welcome to Chandwell. My name's Michael and I'm building a grotty inner city layout set in 1993. I've been working on the back of Market Street for well over a year and it is finally complete. I was left looking at this large empty space at the front of the layout and I decided it was time to do something about it. This video is the story of the layout's front. Join me as I talk you through the process I follow when starting a whole new scene in Mocking Up a Street Scene, Station Road, Part 1. I've always envisioned that Station Road will descend from Station Parade, down the hill in front of Station Alley, and join High Street just before it goes under the wide skew bridge. The centrepiece of this part of the layout was to be a large curved hotel, and the prototype of this is in Ilkley, in West Yorkshire. This is the Crescent Hotel. It is a large, three-storey, curved-fronted building made from Yorkshire stone. The stories are tall and the building dwarfs the two-storey buildings beside it. It has six windows on one side of the curve and four on the other. In the centre is a grand columned portico which towers over the pedestrians on the pavement. The inner edge is much tighter curved but no less grand. It has dormer windows, fire escapes and another pleasant porch. This is what will stand on the corner of Station Road and High Street in Chandwell. Before I start any building, I create a series of mock-ups to help me imagine how it will look once finished. For the Crescent, I use the measurement tools in Google Maps to work out the dimensions of the building's footprint. I then use the free drawing app Inkscape to help me plan this out. I used circles, lines and rectangles to create a simple Crescent which I printed onto cheap copier paper. I cut this out with scissors and dropped it onto the layout. My first impression was that it was big. Also, I created it with a 90 degree turn, but I don't need as much as that. I sketched a line to help me work out a better angle. The back works though. Station Alley will be a dim back street and there will be enough space to make an interesting yard of some sort round here. I used two rulers to help me work out a better angle. I found some elevation drawings of the Crescent on the Bradford Council planning portal and I used these to help draw a true to scale frontage for my version of the hotel. The challenge was to get the spacing between the windows correct whilst keeping the doorway right in the centre of the curved section. I cut out by hand using my scalpel. I used tape to hold the front to the base. This gave a good feel for what the building would look like. It's still quite big, but I imagine that the photo opportunities around here will be spectacular. It will take some experimenting to get the base in just the right place, but I decided to continue. I printed a front and back along with score lines onto sticky label. Once on cereal packet, it was a case of lightly scoring with a knife. When cut out, this makes a lovely curving frontage which can be stuck to the base with tape. I used some end sections to give it a bit of shape and then pondered how to make a roof, which will fit. My first attempt in Inkscape was the right dimensions at the ends, but the curvature was distorted. My second attempt was just right. All I needed to do was cut off a bit of overhang. And then I could tape the roof into place on the mock-up. With the roof in place, you can see how the hotel will fit at the bottom of Station Road. I still thought it was large, and I spent quite a while discussing this with my channel members. Was it too large? Would it obstruct too much of the view of the layout? Or would the enticing views over the top down to the alleyway behind lend an excitement and an interest to the layout? I lived with it a while, but I was still undecided. In the end, I quickly sketched a shop front based on the White Stuff shop on Brook Street in Ilkley. I repeated this drawing so I had 22 copies of it on five sheets of sticky paper. I stuck these to cereal packet and cut them out. Once on the layout, I can get a good feel for what the completed street might look like. After three years of an empty front, it will take some getting used to when looking at the high buildings on the front of the layout. But just look, this terrace of shops descending the hill and then opening out onto a road junction with High Street is just going to look spectacular once it's finished. I will of course vary the buildings, and each one will have a story and a character of its own. I will leave passageways down to Station Alley so you can see the viaduct behind. 
and may model a gap where a building has been destroyed or is in the process of being redeveloped. I think I'm still a couple of degrees too curved here, but that will be easy to correct. I'm very, very excited about this next phase in Project Chandwell. There is a year or more of work ahead of me, but I'm raring to go. So far, this street scene has taken me six hours of making time. I've used four sheets of basic copier paper and nine sheets of A4 sticky labels. A tiny little bit of sellotape. That brings the overall cost to 70 pence. If you'd like to see the ongoing behind the scenes updates in my weekly members update videos, please consider joining my channel as a member. You can use this button here. Here's a look at my original mock-up for Market Street. Please join me next time when I will have started work on the Crescent. Until then, thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.